Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic chart in Excel that updates automatically based on the type of summary you select. We'll be working with a sales data set, and I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to calculate the summary data using two different methods and link it to a chart. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create a professional interactive chart that updates in real time. Let's get started. First, let's set up a drop-down menu to select the type of chart we want. In cell P3, right-click on the cell P3, type in the search item menu like data validation, and select it. It will open the data validation window. Select the, the list from the allow option, then type the sales database column names which chart type we required, for example, salesman name, region, item name, etc. Now let's calculate the summary data for the chart. We'll start with method 1, which uses the unique and choose calls functions. In cell P5, we want to extract the unique values of the parameter selected in cell P3. For example, if we select salesman name, we want a list of all the unique salesmen in the correspondent cell ranges. To do this, we'll use the formula. Equal then choose calls formula. We use this unction returns specific columns from an array or range. Inside the parentheses, select the range A2, H101, which is our entire data set. For the second argument, we'll use the match function to dynamically select the column based on the chart type. So, type match, open bracket, then select cell P3, followed by the range A1, H1, which is the column headers, and type 0 for an exact match. Close the match function, then close choose calls. Once you enter, it will filter only the salesman name column, and it is now dynamically changing upon the selection in cell P3. But here we need the unique parameter list. Hence we use unique function to extract only the distinct name list, and finally close unique. Press enter, and you'll see a list of unique values based on the chart type you selected in P3. For example, if you select item name, you'll see all the unique item names. Next, We'll calculate the total sales for each unique value. In cell Q5, we'll use the sum and filter functions. First, we will use the filter function to return the sales value for each unique value. For the array argument, we select the sale amount column. Then for include the argument, I need to set the logical argument based on the selected criteria. So I copy the same choose calls. Paste the choose calls formula into the include array argument and set it equal to the value in cell P5. Before complete the formula, make sure you will use absolute formula where necessary. Now close the bracket. Once you press enter, it will return the each sales amount for the selected criteria. So to get the total, I will use the sum function. Press enter, and you'll see the total sales for the first unique value. Drag the formula down to calculate the total sales for all unique values. Now that we have the summary data, let's create the chart. Select the range containing the unique values and their total sales. Go to the Insert tab and choose the chart type you want, such as a bar chart or pie chart. Let us format the chart so it will look good. Also, I will link the chart name to the selected chart type so it updates automatically when you change the chart type in P3. We have now completed the first method formula and the chart updates automatically based on the selected chart type. Now let's look at method 2, which uses the LET function. This method is more advanced, but makes the formula easier to read and manage. If you are new to the LET function, please watch my previous basic tutorial on the LET function, the link provided in the description. It will help you to understand further. In cell P5, we'll calculate both the unique values and their total sales in one formula. First, I will spare a column for the total sales value. Now I use the same formula as developed before and develop from it, since we will use the similar formula in LET formula as well. So I will type let function, then I will define the variable a, and assign the same choose calls formula. Comma, to enter a formula in a new line, press the alt and enter keys. This allows you to continue the formula on a new line, 
which is a good practice, especially when using the LET function. Next, we will define variable B as unique value of the variable A. Next, I will define another variable C to define the sales column data, which is from cell G2 to G101. The final variable we define, D, for the map function to calculate the total sales for each unique value in array B. So, map function, then define the supplied array as B, which is our unique value. Now we use lambda function to call each value in array B. Call each value in B as X. Next, I will copy the same formula I used to calculate the total sales and copy as parameter variable in lambda. Now let me replace the cell ranges in the formula with the defined variables. C will replace the sales value ranges, then replace the choose calls formula with variable A, and P5 will be X, which is our criteria from array B. Finally, Use the hstack function to combine the unique values b and their total sales d into a single table. Carefully close the brackets for each function and press enter and you'll see a table with the unique values and their total sales. Now we no longer require the total sales column which we developed earlier. And that's it. You now have a dynamic chart that updates in real time based on your selection with a single formula. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments which method you prefer, method 1 or method 2, and if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.